filming didn't, so we decided that on our way home, we are going to hit up Lake. Okay, Rod thinks it's a big secret, but apparently it's right beside the highway, and it's stocked. Come on, Okay, so we're actually doing a really quick episode today. We're actually on our way home from Camus, um this morning. I think I have about three hours to fish, uh, so we're stopping by one of my secret lakes. Right? <laughs> and, uh, secret it's actually stocked not lake, or it's on like the Go Fish's website. Website, you can go check out Go Fish BC and find out exactly where it is. But um, this lake does have um, quite a few Panask rainbow trout in it. Um, oh, that's a hint. Yeah, so they're putting 5,000 fish in this lake every year, so that's another hint for you guys. Not very confident about this lake today because condition is not that great. It's kind of cold and uh, we haven't seen any bugs coming up yet. So if we do get into some fish, I'll be very, very happy. But if we don't, I'll be, you know, I won't be too disappointed. Yeah. yeah. But we've been fishing along Kamloops um, in the last two days. Um, what do you think? The fishing was... I think fishing was better than what well, I expected, especially when you go to a lake that you've never fished at before. Mm -hmm. um, and the weather wasn't even too perfect. Yeah. Well, it wasn't in ideal conditions for fishing. Yeah. Um, but there was a lot of there was a lot more bugs coming up hatching yeah. throughout the day than what I see now. You know, first day at the new lake, um, we're doing various things, you know, ch trying out different spots trying out different fly patterns, finding out what, what they're eating, where the fish are. Um, but yesterday we probably tried three different spots before we got into some fi nice fish. I got yeah, it was like nice three. Fish. It, was, it yeah. was like two or three spots jumping around. Yeah, I think it's a Fraser Valley. A nice little Fraser Valley rainbow trout uh, to start the day. This one's roughly just over a pound. Very, very fat fish. It was probably uh, putting this leg last year. Let this one go. Hopefully, we'll get many more uh, for the rest of the day. As soon as we anchored, it was literally like right away. I got into a couple of nice, I guess, Panask rainbow trout. It's It's not a very big fish, but that fish is clean. As soon as you grab the fly. It's rocked around two pounds maybe. First Panask rainbow trout today. We've been at it for about an hour and 40 minutes so far. Moved to three different spots. Finally found a really fishy spot. Nice chunky fish. The hits were so hard, like yeah. my indicator was buried. They were like fat um, for how long they were. They were rough around two pounds. They're big. We don't have a bowl today. So the top of the cooler is all we got. Yeah, those are pretty big, eh? So we just pump some fish. Um, like nope. that one's massive. Yeah. I'm really curious how big those two fish you hooked were. I know, I mean, especially were... since you say there's 10 pounders there. Yeah, exactly. Brook trout that we got, that yeah. was my favorite. They were super iridescent, really bright bellied um, mm -hmm. footballs. Yeah. And they fought really well for brookies. I've never had brookies that um, take me, what, take a, what's the saying? Take the line out and just. No, that's not the saying. I think, <laughs> no. But yeah, they okay, take yeah. the line out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Um, Give me a run for my money. Is that the saying? Exactly, yeah, yeah. We got in some Fraser Valley rainbow trout. Um, yours was the biggest one of the day between the two of us. Roughly around four pounds. Oh, uh, yeah, was it, was, it? it wasn't very long, but it was super yeah, It was wide. very, very chunky, yeah. Exactly. So when you go up to the Kamloops area, there are quite a few fisheries where you can get into um, where it's like multi-species fishery. I would so, prefer that personally than yeah. just knowing that there's only rainbows. Yeah, there. so the one we went to yesterday, um, there's 
Fraser Valley Rainbow Trout, Penasca Rainbow Trout, and Brook Trout. So whenever you get a bite, you never know what you're gonna get next. You can kind of guess though, because the Penasca oh, yeah, yeah. part, they would yeah. boost out of the water mm -hmm. right away. Yeah. Well, um, even even the type of bites you get was kind of different, right? Yeah. So the Brook Trout is kind of like the the, the, the indicator just dimple a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't really go down, and you can tell, oh, that's a Brook Trout. Whereas um, Penasca Rainbow Trout, they just you just bury the whole indicator. Just take it. They just and take peeling off. Peeling line right away. Peeling line, and you, you get this acrobatic display right in front of you, they jump out right away. Um, big Fraser Valley Rainbow Trout, they usually t tend to just dive really deep down. Yeah, a takes, bulldog uh, with it. Yeah, yeah, take lots of line out. So yeah, so it depends on what you feel like. There's actually quite a few different options uh, for you in um, between Merit and Kamloops. Um, I would say dozens of lakes, wouldn't you say? If you can try out. In Kamloops? Yeah. Well, I, I would want to say yes but i don't actually know because i've only fished been in a handful of times so i don't want to give people the wrong yeah exactly yeah so you know part of our i guess struggle every year every season is to pick a lake we want to go to there's just so many so many lakes to pick from right and then we have so little time to fish right anyway so today we like i said we only have three hours to fish so far not not much has been happening we're just trying to find a fish right now um but yeah stay tuned and if you don't see any fish, this will be the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the loon! No! No! The loon! <laughs> the loon! Oh, the loon! It's on my fish, right? Yeah! Oh, no! The loon actually got my fish. Is it still what, no, in the mouth? No, I don't no, have a loon. So. No, Get it's away! Hey! <laughs> Run! Get the net! Run! Get the net! Net the poor thing! Go on this way. Oh. <laughs> no, this is not okay. This isn't okay. It's okay. They need to eat too. But no. They need to eat too. Oh, look at that thing. And I saw this big, well, so I was actually just taking a video. It's freaking waiting. Oh my. I've never seen a loon that close to my boat really? before. Yeah, no, actually, I it actually will come up right next to you. Will it? Yeah, it will. But just. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. No, so we've actually been at this lake for a little while and this is pretty much the last spot because we don't have much time because yeah, I'm like... going mushroom picking early. Yeah. So Rod, we watched some fish jumping just off this point here. And so Rod's like, you know, this is going to be our last spot of the day. And I just cast it out and um, Rod said to me, we were both commenting on how beautiful this place was. And he said, I, I really have a feeling we're going to get a fish here. And it was like, I was just I on my phone like 30 filming seconds, yeah. and my indicator's gone and my rod's going nuts. And this, this beautiful, beautiful panask is just going aerial mm -hmm. and it feels like pretty heavy. And then I notice this loon that you can see right there. It's waiting, just waiting for me to yep. release the fish because it wants lunch. Nice fish though. Beauty. Not too big, but just really nice fish. This, Where's the bird? It's right here. Oh no! Oh no! No! It's gonna pop up with the fish. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's really sad. Like Why I know it's sad? I know it's well, life, they but have to eat. but I know it's just sad. Yeah, it's just... We tried this weekend fishing in Kamloops for different species. Kind of panned out, kind of didn't. So we tried Rod's secret lake today, and. It wasn't honestly what I expected, but that's okay. Well, it's a good lake, but the conditions were not very good. So, like yeah. my buddy Carlo was saying, this, we this week the weather hasn't been very stable, um, which means the fishing is not that great. 
but we really need that the weather to be you know temperature around the mid 20s you know high stable pressure um, would you the, say heat is better for what like warmer weather is better for to, to oh, yeah. help bugs hatch absolutely today we haven't seen anything coming up so yeah we caught the ones well she caught the, the ending fish of the of the day it was all fluke and yeah it was a, it was luck but uh that's fine though. We had we had really good fishing the last two days, um, so that's it's been a really enjoyable weekend, and uh, that's the <laughs> yeah. One but you know what? Now we took camels for granted I compared know. to today. That was excellent yesterday. Yesterday we got into like 20, 30 fish, and it was so, my first time there. Yeah, and really nice fish, and yeah. So, but uh, yeah, it's, it's your one and only uh, lake fishing trip of the year, right? Yeah, probably. Well, next week we already have something booked in Uculet, and then midweek we have my annual filming project with my classroom, which is going to be exciting, and I know that you guys will really like it. And then that, and then uh, next comes June, and I'm busy with report cards. Yeah, Unless anybody wants to help me write them. June, I'll be filming solo, Aww. unfortunately. And uh, then July, August, we've got lots of trips planned coming up. So look, lots to look forward to. Yeah. And, we'll be back. Yeah, and hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, even though there's only one for today. <laughs> so until next time. Good luck fishing.